Hey, what you doing? <laughs> I have to uh, spray this mower off because I got stuck yesterday. So, good morning, Grass Grind family. I gotta tell you guys something. I'll tell you a cool story. So yesterday, we were out mowing and he was like, yeah, I'm gonna get this part. And guess what happened? Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. So we got stuck. We got stuck. But who rescued? I did. Me, me, me. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but look at this, though. Yep, yep, yep. So that's how our day ended yesterday. Oh yeah, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take it to a car wash, get that mud off. Yeah. So, what happened? So, we were doing one of the uh, commercials and um, it didn't look wet, really. And um, so I did, I seen the trench and then I went like five feet ahead of the trench, that way I wouldn't hit the trench and then after that, um, I did a big loop around and then came around and then on the second time, right in the corner, that's where I ended up getting stuck. So I'm gonna have to pressure wash this and get all this mud and stuff off. Look at guys. It's blowing mud out. So, how did we get? How did we get it out? <laughs> oh, that was a big one. Uh, we got like a thirty foot uh, strap, and we had to back up, get on the curb, strap it up to the front of the mower, and um, back it out. So, hey guys, look at this though. We have a grass grind skag. Yeah, it's the uh, first edition. It's the first edition grass grind skag. <laughs> yep. And truthfully, we're doing this so we don't track mud on our other properties because the grass is still wet. make a decision because um, now that we're getting some more properties um, I'm gonna need a bigger mower and um, so I'm trying to debate 
which mower to get. I think I'm going to go with a 52, uh, but I don't know. Hey, can you hit this side right here? The outside front tire. But I don't know whether to go with the, uh, with the Toro or to go with the uh, Dag. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, definitely had to get this thing cleaned up because anytime you got mud on the tires, it causes a mess, okay? Alright, so we're about done. And we're about to get going. All right, Grass Grind family, we are back. We had to stop and get some gas, uh, get some food. Uh, you always got to re-energize uh, when you're out here mowing. Um, that way, you know, you don't get too tired. And um, Sarah's coming in with the big mega size drink. I've never seen a drink uh, this big. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look how big it is. That this is huge. Quenches your thirst. Mm. I've never seen a drink that big, but whatever. So, um, actually, today's been going good. Um, we're starting to get drier conditions in the grass, which is really helping us a lot. Um, just because it's just been raining, it's been wet, and that's, of course, hard to cut. So, um, you know, we out here, it's about 11.30. Um, I mean, we have a full, full day, so. A full fun day. Fun day, full fun day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, we just out here, we gassed up. Um, okay, Sarah hold on. got some food. Wait, I want to show you guys this. Okay, so this is, this is how a new person makes a sub. Okay, and he's 16 years old, or something like that. And this is the first time he's ever made a sub. <laughs> so I have to give him props, but um, this one's mine. Yours is a lot better because I had to tell him what to do. So. <laughs> what is that? He didn't melt the cheese? Nope. You didn't want him to melt the cheese? No, he was having so much trouble and, you know, like I support, I support new people. I support, yeah. I know. I would have put that back be like, Stop. hey, you need to put that in the okay. toaster. So this is yours. Here, eat mine. No, I'm going to eat this one. This one is special. All right, this well, was his very first thing. I'm going to eat that. <laughs> I'm going to eat That's it. That's just me. If I'm paying for it. No, I'm like, straight. I told him it was okay because he, he was like. He melt the cheese. Well, set it on top of the hood. Maybe it melt the cheese. No, like, <laughs> hey. And? All right, we're about to figure this out. She's about to eat her unmelted cheese, and uh -uh, now for me. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> eat that crap. All right, Grass Brian family. So now it is 4:30. Uh, we just got contacted about a commercial account that's uh, overgrown. Uh, so now we're about to head there. Uh, get that taken care of, but um, I mean, it's been a crazy day. Um, we did a cleanup, which um, we didn't uh, record. Um, grass was probably to our knees. Uh, probably a little bit less than that. No, it was to our knees. But, I mean, so the grass was super tall. Skag went through it. Of course, I had to double cut. And then I cut grass that's like four inches tall and and nail something and tear up the blade so now I got to order a new blade so I'm gonna get a extra set and a new blade to match the other two because it's three blades so uh, it, it's just been a crazy day got Sarah with me she was on the Bobcat today yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. she was doing really 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 good and um, overall just a good day but um you know, you always want to make sure your route density is good. Uh, today was a little bit all over the place because we were getting calls. Oh, we got a new customer today. Yeah. That was the cleanup, so he wants to be on weekly. Um, it's just just been go, 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 go. And uh, we don't plan to stop mowing until, what time is sundown? 8.30, 8 8.20? Yeah, we're not stopping until 8.20. So, um, you know, we 
we, we're just out here mowing, just getting it done. I think Thursday we have some rain coming, so um, that's really gonna be the day I'll be able to buy my blades and uh, get everything taken care of. As you see, uh, earlier today we had to uh, wash down the mower because uh, I got stuck. And that's, you know, that's the weird thing is when you get stuck in mud like that, you can feel it. It's just real weird. Like it goes from going great and then it's like just sinking into like quicksand <laughs> and the more you try to spin your tires um of course the deeper it gets so um you know it was just it was a crazy thing and then you know the area that we were in everybody was like ripping and running going around the truck and we're trying to get the strap out and it was just um you know it made for an interesting day but um we're about to get there. We should be there probably in about 10 minutes or so, and then um, we'll record and see what kind of condition it's in, okay? Yep. And safety tip of the day, guys. <laughs> safety, oh, you're doing a safety tip I of the day? I am doing a safety tip of the day. Uh-huh. Okay, sunblock is a must, okay? <laughs> I used, I use the baby sunblock and you know, like why I am, would you use baby sunblock? Because there, it's supposed to protect you even it's more. It's an age limit on sunblock. Look, look. Man, look, listen. look guys. Sunblock is a must. I don't know. I need like a, a 95 or something. I don't but know. yes, guys. Use some sunblock. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that, but uh it's beautiful today. 83 degrees been nice all day um we just been slinging some black grass around you know what i'm saying but um you know we'll see i don't know how this one's gonna be i got a feeling it's gonna be in pretty bad shape but um we're like it's just like fruit ninja but instead of like with the sword and fruit fruit ninja yeah oh yeah yeah instead of a sword and the fruit it's like the weed whacker and the grass <laughs> So I want to talk to you guys too, because like I said earlier, uh, we're considering getting a 52 uh, standard, okay? So do you guys recommend uh, the Toro Grandstand, uh, the Skag V-Ride 2, and what was the other one? Was it an X-Mark or a Ferris? No, guys, you know what? I wanna know, I wanna know how you guys feel about uh, what is that? The that mower bad called the bad mower. boy mowers. Absolutely okay, not. you guys tell me. Absolutely tell me. Not. I like. That is a Tell me guys. Mower. Tell me guys about the bad boy mowers. I'll, I'll tell you about bad boy mower. It's a residential mower with a commercial name. Now nah, I'm just playing. I don't know nothing about bad boy mowers, but I know it don't strike like a Toro or a Skag. Well, nothing strikes like a Skag. <laughs> But anyway, I don't think we're doing bad boy mower. Cause I, and another thing, they don't have standards either. So stand on. Standers. Stand on. Is it standers or stand on? Stand on. Standers. Stand on. It's a standard. Stand on. Yes. All right, we're about to get to this property. <laughs> Sarah is saying stand on. Look, I. You don't say a Skag B ride stand on. And you say Skag B Ride. You know what? I want to get one of them. One of them sun hats. I seen one. It's called Arctic Hat or something like if that. If anybody knows what those sun hats are called, it was place called, it on the comment because I would love to have one of them. It was called Arctic Hat or something. I don't Arctic know. Arctic Hat. Arctic Hat. Yeah, because I sweat a lot, and um, Sarah got a big old head, so we have to <laughs> kind of figure out. Uh, is he stopping? Yeah. yeah. We have to go around. But um, yeah, we definitely need another hat because I sweat through these. Look at this, look at this, look at this, guys. Like, look, I'm look how him. crazy, look how crazy this is. Crazy, crazy. You wanna act that. like a crazy person and like, yeah, we got you on video now. Look how crazy you <laughs> look, people. Yeah. Just trying to get in front of somebody. I don't know, man. It's just, and that's another thing. It's like, these lawn care people, Look at, look at this one, look at this one, look at this one, right there, look, that, that's just insane. Mm -hmm. And people been driving crazy like that 
literally all day. Yes. I mean, I think when they see a lawn care truck, they'll just be like, ooh, let me cut in front of them. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Well, we're about to get here. Enough jibber jabber. Yep. So we'll talk to you guys later. Yep. Bye-bye now. For now. This is all gonna have to be weed whacked all the way down there. Yeah, because see, if I put a mower through there, you see how wet this is? Yeah. It's super wet. This one. Truthfully, you can actually leave that one, and then you gotta be careful with this. So, this guy right here. It's crazy. Yeah, this is, all wet. is that? Holy crap! Okay, like we don't have crawfishes, and um, well, I guess we do. Like, look at that. Look how big this crawfish is. Like that stuff that you see in the bayou. And then Oh my goodness Okay guys Look at this this is just <clears throat> this is what we are getting into, guys. Yes, we are. And uh, I'm gonna need to make a phone call because uh, time is money. And uh, oh, you gotta look at me. Time is money. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we gonna get this together. Okay. Another one of these. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put a flag there. Yeah, if we gonna get this together, we need some uh, some crazy. confirmation because mm -hmm. this is everywhere. Okay. It does. All, All right. right. It's not like somebody been using the bathroom oh, back here. Horses. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. There's horses okay. back there. All right. So I'm gonna make a phone call. It do smell like hot. Oh, <laughs> hot dookie. All right. I'm gonna make a phone call and uh, get some clarification, and we'll go from there. All right. All right, grass growing family. So we're at a different property um we did not mow that property today because we were uh going over the rate uh making sure the rate was correct um as i always talk about you have to price these things accordingly and um i i have no issues because um i work with a great group of people uh that i deal with with the commercials uh so I don't have any issues so I'm just waiting for the go ahead and uh, figure out how to get it mowed and how to get it done but that was um, it's really tall and it's kind of hard to express I don't know if you can see me or not because I know it's dark but it's kind of hard to express how uh, overgrown or how tall a property is if uh, the person's not there that I deal with to actually see it um, pictures can only show so much and when you're there you're walking it you can see how wet it is you can see how tall everything is um, then you have a better um, excuse me perspective of what the property looks like but no complaints here we didn't get it done today um, we're just you know going through all the stuff to make sure you know the rate is right and 
you know, we're going to price that accordingly because that's a cleanup. And, you know, I'm just very thankful. Um, you know, we've had a lot of accounts now. And, um, you know, we've had a lot of help along the way. This was not something that, you know, we did on our own. Um, you know, really good friends, uh, really good acquaintances, and um, just a lot of help, a lot of hard work, and word of mouth too. Uh, yes, we've done the website. Yes, we got the truck wrap, but word of mouth speaks volumes. Um, as a buddy of mine said, once you leave that property, that's the statement that you leave. That's what people see. Okay, so make sure you always leave the property looking good, looking nice. That way, when people pass by or, you know, if somebody goes to a neighbor and says, oh, man, who cut your lawn? It looks great. They'll say, oh, Sloan's Lawn Care cut it, okay? Or they can say, oh, man, who cut your lawn? It looks horrible, okay? You know, so word of mouth is super important, okay? So you have to make sure um, communication is there, customer service is there. Uh, you know how to mow. You know how to mow in wet conditions. Um, I had a property today that was wet, and it's certain ways that you have to deal with that property, um, and actually, the uh, there was another company that mowed earlier next door to this uh, customer, and they just left the hill, okay? Um, and, you know, I thought that was pretty tacky um, to leave that and still charge the customer full price. And um, so the customer asked me, or, oh, are you going to leave the hill? And I said, no, that's not how we operate. We want to make sure, you know, you want to make sure your client is getting their money's worth. They're spending their hard earned money and, you know, I would expect it. So, um, we're just, you, you know, we're just finishing up. It is, I don't know if you can see that, 7.57. Okay. So we're just finished up. Still got to get home. Still got to clean the, uh, mowers. Um, I got, like I said, I got to get a new uh, high lift blade for the Skag. Uh, I got to figure out what 52 to get, whether it's a turf tracer, um, which I don't think I'll need right now, uh, just with the clientele that we have. Um, but it's, it's going to be some changes, some big changes coming. And uh, you guys are going to be along for the ride. So, um, I'm just waiting on Sarah. She went inside to get a couple of things and um, you know, we're, we're gonna call it a day, but um, crazy day, busted up a blade, uh, went to a commercial property. It was way overgrown. So we got to figure out how we're gonna tackle that. Cause that's gonna be a, uh, that's gonna be a task in itself. So, um, you know, it's just, it's just a part of the job, okay? You have to be versatile. You have to be reasonable. Uh, but then again, you have to know your rate and how long it will take you um, in order to get the job done. Okay. All right. So I'm going to wait for Sarah to get back in. Then we're going home. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So today was actually a really awesome day. And I... You were on the standard all day today. I was on the standard. I was on the Bobcat all day today. Yep. And quite enjoyed it because I took my fear and I squashed it. That's right. So I want to tell everybody that fear is just a mindset. And so we might be buying a different kind of mower. Yeah. yeah a little bit bigger. It's like, definitely it's definitely coming. Um, I don't know whether you get a 61 or a 52. Uh, we've been looking at a ton of different mowers. Um, we don't know if we want to uh, mix it up a little bit. But um, so, what kind of mower do you think we should get, or are we gonna keep it a surprise? Um, I think we're gonna keep it a surprise. Okay. Because but, oh, go, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Because we're having a little a little argument on whether it's gonna be a Toro or if it's gonna be a Skag. But either or. Well, Exmark and Paris, and then you're talking about bad boy mowers. Okay, what is the deal with bad boy mowers? Man, mowers. put it in the comment. Tell her about what I want to know. I want to know. I hope they do tell you because I know. I know. You 
you know. I know. Have you ever wrote a bad boy before? No. Okay. But Don't I know. Don't judge a book by its cover. I know because I know. Anyway. Anyway. So Overall, we had a great day. It is like, now it's like 8.15 or so. We still got to get to back to the crib, take everything out the... Uh, What's the crib? That's the house. Oh. <laughs> get back to the house <laughs> and uh, take everything out. And uh, overall, we had a good day. We started early in the morning with about 8. Yes. So about 8. We did. I was trying to wake up at six o'clock, but that wasn't working no, that, for Sarah. That wasn't happening. Yeah. But, um, mm -hmm. You know, we just out here. But anyway, this is Chris and Sarah on the grass grind. Always invest in yourself and keep grinding. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. See you later, guys. All right. Till next time. All right, grass grind family.